In this college game, a runner misses home plate, a catcher misses the tag of the runner, and we have a stalemate, a standoff. Is there something to call here, or are we just waiting for something to happen? The question is, what is the rule? What is an umpire to do? So let's actually go to the book. In college, the rule is 864 and states a runner shall be called out on specific appeals that occur as a result of a base runner error when the runner does not touch home plate and does not make an attempt to touch it. The fielder may touch either the runner or home plate. In this situation, does the fielder make an actual appeal to the umpire? Does he touch home plate at any time prior to the tags? Because he does tag everyone, so there is a double play, but then we have this fight because of that. Could the fight have been averted had there been a call earlier, and should there have been a call earlier? Does the rule book actually want a call earlier or not? Was there an appeal play? That's the question. The official baseball rules where the case play really gets going, and that's where the question is for actual pro ball, because 509 has a few provisions. The umpire manual does. We're talking about the three-foot base path rule. We're talking about someone failing to touch home plate and making no effort to return, but that really only applies to the situation where the runner goes into the dugout and the catcher would be required to chase him. How about this intermediate step between trying to return and going to the dugout? What's the rule then? What's the interpretation? That's the question. Anyway, here's the video. Have fun watching this brawl and thinking if this could have been averted or not. And what is the on-deck batter doing? You see what kind of umpires we do?